Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Garmin Forerunner 945 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the watch faces under Garmin Forerunner 945. So this will allow you to basically build your own watch faces where you can select the colors, the layout, and even the data sets that are displayed on your watch face. Now, if you're looking to install third-party watch faces, check the description because I will have a tutorial covering that. But in this, we'll just be going over the watch faces that are built in to the 945. All right, so to get started, the first thing we need to do is open up the menu, and we do that by holding the up button right here for just a couple seconds until you see watch face. Select watch face with the start or stop button in the top right. Then in here, we can scroll through the pre-built watch faces that they have on the watch. With any of these, you can customize them by simply selecting them and then going to customize, selecting that. But if you wanna build your own watch face, just scroll all the way down to the bottom where it has that plus symbol. Once you see add new, go ahead and select that. And then we can go through the various steps to customize and create our own watch face. So on this screen, we can select either analog or digital. So if you go up or down, you'll see analog and then digital. I'm going to do a digital watch face. After that, we can select the layout for the watch face. So depending on if you choose digital or analog, you'll have different layouts available. So use the start or stop button to select that. Then in here, we can scroll through all the different layouts that are available. And one thing to keep in mind, depending on the layout you choose, you'll have a different amount of data sets available. So I really like this watch face because it has three very easy to see data sets. I'm gonna select that. After that, we can choose if seconds will be displayed. As you can see, it turns it on or off right there. And that does use additional battery life. So I'm just gonna turn that off because I don't need it. After that, we can select what data will be displayed on our watch face. So first we can edit this field at the top. As you can see, it's blinking. So if I scroll through, there's a ton of options here. We have heart rate and steps, calories, stair climber, intensity minutes, your battery life, sunrise, sunset, elevation, that's your barometer, UTC, any calendar events you have, notifications, weather, which is pretty cool. And then we have your body battery and the amount that you've run in the last week. So for this, I'm gonna select the top one, which kind of just shows if you're connected and your battery life as well. As you can see, once I select, once I choose the data set for the top one, the next one will start blinking. So we can go through and choose what we wanna have. I will do the elevation there. Once we select it, as you can see, the next one starts blinking. I'm gonna do heart rate for that one. And then for the final one, I will do my steps. I like to see that. So once we choose all the available data sets, the menu will come back up and from here, we can choose our accent color. So if you're trying to match your outfit or something like that, you can choose what the color will be on the accents here. I like to have that nice like sky blue. And then we can choose our background color. So that's going to be either white or black. And this has no effect on your battery life. So you can choose whatever you want. I like the black. And then after that, we're done. So when we select done, that will save that as our watch face on our watch. So if I go through a widget, you can see that that's my new watch face. All right, so that's how you customize watch faces on the Garmin Forerunner 945. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin Forerunner 945 tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.